We'll now take a look at these surveillance photos. Police say five suspects had dunked it and assaulted a waitress who tried to stop them from skipping out on a bill at a popular South Jersey diner. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is in Washington Township, Gloucester County, covering the story for us this evening. Matt. Yuki, police tell us that waitress is recovering today from abrasions to her face and her neck and even a possible concussion after that confrontation in the parking lot turned violent. She's obviously traumatized by the event. Police say surveillance video from Saturday night shows a waitress in the red confronting a group of alleged dine and dashers before they allegedly forced the waitress into their white Dodge Durango. That's where police say they assaulted her and then took off down Route 42. There's a brazen abduction, a robbery. Aggravated assault, possible kidnapping. Police say the incident happened outside this Washington Township Nifty 50s restaurant after a group of people ate and left without paying their $70 bill. We're asking for the public's assistance in trying to help identify the owner of the vehicle and to go on our Facebook page and help identify the suspects in the photo. So there's, there's five individuals. Um, three males and two females. Police also say the suspects eventually kicked out the victim a short distance away on the side of Route 42. She was able to walk back to Nifty 50s. The co owner says Dine and Dashers here are far and few between. Now our customers are great. This is a, just a really isolated incident. Now, customers we talk to are hoping police catch those suspects. It's sad, but um, hopefully they find who did it and it'll get a little bit better. Meantime, officers encourage anyone who sees a crime to not intervene, but instead try to be a good witness. Trying a license plate, obviously, uh, try and be able to identify the accused and, and call 911. We, we don't recommend chasing customers in the parking lot. And again, that waitress is now recovering. Anyone with information is urged to contact police. Reporting live, I'm Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.